Hello, this is the second video in our ModTool tutorial. I am Dragon and I will show you how to edit provinces. In previous video we have generated the map and we have created various provinces on our, on our map. If we zoom in, the default name will show up. So, let me go to the province editor right here, open it, and let me explain you how the province editor works. Reminder, you can always click here on the information button and see additional information. But for now, let me explain what each element here does. First of all, you have the select all button, which selects all provinces. And as you can see, when the name of the province turns green, it is selected. And unselect all, as you may imagine, unselects all provinces. If this ticker is selected, like now, we can also manually select each province which is going to be very important because we need to be able to edit each province individually. When the select mode toggle is enabled, we can also enable this toggle here, change central left and right position of the province name. Let me show you how it works. When this toggle is enabled, select a province like that, and by pressing F1, F2, F3 or F4 buttons, you can change the position of the name province name. So for example, let me change the central position by pressing F2 with my mouse over here. As you can see, I have moved the name of the province. So this is a simple tool to move your names of the provinces around the map. And also the selecting neighbors tool, which is very important. When this toggle is enabled and a province is selected, you can, holding shift key, click on other provinces and they will be automatically added to the neighbors list of the selected province. So our province is province 41, that one here. And by clicking on the neighboring province, I have added it to its neighbors. Like that. Now, as you can see, our province names are disappearing when we zoom out. I would like to see those names for a longer time. So I'm going to increase the province's visibility distance here. For now it's a default value of 150 and I'm going to select all provinces and I'm going to increase that value up to 350. And now as you can see after saving all we have changed the visibility distance of the name and when we zoom out we can see more province names for a longer time. In this section of the provinces editor, we have the search bar. When you enter, for example, number seven, it will show you all the provinces with the number seven in, it, in their name. It is a very useful feature if you want to find a specific province. And here, underneath, is the list of all provinces sorted by ID, by their name, by their region, but for now we don't have any regions, by their type, and we have three province types in the game, land provinces, national water provinces, and international waters. And of course, by other parameters like population score, GDP, resources, culture, terrain. You can also sort provinces by selected provinces. So for example, if I select province number 41 and I click here, it will show me my selected province on the top of the list. But the most important part of the provinces editor is up here. This is the section that allows me to edit every single province. On the top here, we have an input field for the name key for our province. You can input here either localization key or simply a string, and it will become the name of your province. So let me do just that. I will call this province Wastelands and press save. And now its name has changed. If you would like your mod to be localized, you need to input lock keys or localization keys in the input fields. 
And here in the localization editor, you can add records of your localization keys and add their individual localizations in every language that we have supported. More about localization editor later. All right, so back to our wasteland province. Its type is land province, but we can also change that. Here in this dropdown, we have three province types. Like I said before, land, national water, and international water. This is a land province, of course. So for example, this province here, province number 46, that should be national water province. So I'm going to save it as a national water. And I am also going to set national water for every other province nearby in this internal sea here. But back to our wastelands, we can also set up starting parameters for our every province. And for example, this parameter is called population, but you could also use it in a different way. Not like a population, but for example, uh, like some other resource that you'd like to have in your mod. I'm going to set up the starting population of my wasteland province as a 10. And I'm going to save that. Here we have the degradation parameter. In RealPolitics 2, each province can degrade over time. Degradation represents the damage to the province that people, technology, and other issues cause. Because we are going to create a winter survival mode, I'm going to increase the starting degradation to, for example, 100. We are going to talk more about degradation later. Here is the East Colony toggle. This is an important toggle because it decides whether the province can be colonized or not. If a province can be colonized, so the toggle is enabled, it cannot belong to a country at the start of the game. Enabling this toggle means that this colony has no owner. But for now, I'm going to leave this province as a standard province. That means that I'm going to assign it to a country later. This ticker called is allowed build building allows you to set up whether you want a building to be built on your province. I'm going to leave it enabled because I want players to build buildings here. And here we have another parameter that you can set up for my province. Score parameter decides how much points player is going to get each month for this province. So I'm going to set up here, for example, uh, five. Basic GDP of this province, which means the basic economical power that is generated by this province. I'm going to set up the basic GDP as 15. This will be a pretty valuable province. And starting resources. And for my mod, I'm going to change how the resources work a little bit from the grand campaign. I'm not going to use metal fuels and rare earth elements. I'm going to use different resources, like water, provisions, and also fuel. So for example, in this province, I believe we can set up the water production as, for example, 10, food production as 5, and fuel production as 1. And I'm going to save all of those fields. Here, we can set up culture of our province. For now, we have the basic default cultures pre-created in the empty scenario. Later, we are going to edit them in the Cultures and Civilization Editor. But for now, let me choose the standard C1 culture. And here we have the terrain. And for now, we also have the pre-generated by the empty scenario for standard terrains. We are going to edit them later. But for now, let me set up this terrain for this province as a grassland. And this is the central position height parameter that sets up the central position of our province on the map. We are going to leave it as that. Underneath, we have neighbors for our province. And like I showed you before, you can select the neighbors manually. But now I'm going to show you how to do it automatically in the province creator editor. So let me go here to the province creator editor. Let me make sure that I have loaded my province texture that has been the basis 
of our province generation. Yep, that's it. Now let me cache my colors and do it twice to receive 74. That is the number of our provinces in the game. And now let me click the set neighbors using province texture button. And that will generate all neighbors that will basically connect all provinces with one another. And now, as you can see, in our Eastland provinces, in the neighbors dropdown, we have other provinces here. And you can check if that is correct. For example, province 37 is indeed neighbor of province wastelands. Here, underneath neighbors, there is a new country input field. Like with all other input fields, you can either input here a localization key or a string. And this will be the new name of a country that is created on this province. If this province ever becomes a capital province of a new country, this will be the name of the country. It is a very useful feature if you plan to create new countries during the game, for example using events. Or indeed, when rebellion happens and rebels create their own country. And of course, a new country has to have a flag. So here, this dropdown allows you to choose a flag that will become the new flag of the newly created country. Here is a building slot dropdown that allows you to choose a model of a building slot that will be visible on the map in the game. And after clicking it, building pop-up will show. And here you can set up the starting building of a province. For now, we don't have any buildings set up, so I'm going to leave it at none. But if you'd like, any province in the game could start with a specific building selected. And also here, under all of these parameters, we can set up starting effects for any province. Clicking this button opens Configurator of Effects. We are going to talk more about the configuration of effects later. After changing all of those parameters, I highly recommend clicking Save All button to save all our changes for this province. And if you'd like to set up your starting parameters, you could go one by one and set up them for each province. But also, we are going to add here a feature to edit them in the CSV file and import that file into the mod editor so that you can edit all the provinces at once in one document. But for now, let me show you one more useful editor here, the border creator, that will greatly help us differentiate between different provinces. Because for now, there are no borders between them. And this editor, this tool, allows you to create borders. To create borders in the borders editor, you don't actually need to edit any of those settings. You can just preload the provinces and click Generate Borders, after optimization, of course. So let me save my mod. and go to Province Editor and click Generate Borders to create them automatically in the game. I will zoom out so that you can see the progress in real time. And now we have our borders created. As you can see, if we zoom in, we can clearly see that each individual province has its own borders. And having those borders visible will greatly help us later to set up countries, blocks, regions, and other game features. And that concludes our province's mod tool tutorial video. In the next video, we're going to talk about regions, countries, and blocks. Thank you for listening, and see you next time.